G'day everyone, welcome back to Aaron Engineering, my name's Aaron. So today's video is not that exciting, but I thought it'd be a good one to cover. So a couple of weeks ago when I was drilling and tapping those cylinders, on the very last one, uh, I accidentally flicked the switch into second speed instead of neutral, drove the tap all the way through and shattered the tap and snapped it off in the cylinder. I rang up my buddy Arthur, uh, he's a owns a company called Live Tools. He distributes out end mills and drills and stuff like that and tool holders and spoke to him about it. He goes, look, Aaron, I've got some of these hard drills in stock. He goes, I'll send you one down for free. No obligation. You don't have to do a video. But I thought I'll do a video to show some of you guys in case you haven't done it before. Now, I'll be brutally honest. This is the first time I've done any hard drilling. Now, it's a weird looking drill and it, uh, it's, it's more of a triangular shaped drill. Uh, than a traditional uh, two-fluted drill bit. So let's head on over to the mill. So what I'll do, I'll have to set the mill back up with parallel strips, put in my plate, bolt the cylinder down, uh, use my Tashawn probe to find that X and Y centre, and then step across to that broken hole and try and send this hard drill through that hole to get that broken tap out. Now, if I don't succeed, I can take it to work where we've got a EDM on loan, which I can send through and get it out. So look, it's an unknown quantity, so let's have a crack at it. Got the cylinder mounted here, let's just uh, check it a little bit. You might have seen there earlier putting the parallels in, I like to use rubber bands that keeps hold the parallels in place. Just want to nip these up, not the old fashioned strip it and back it off a turn. Good old Australian made spinner back in the day. Righto, let's find the work quarter, the X, Y, the centre point of this circle. Let's get the probe into the spindle. Drop into the hole. We'll find the Y axis first. Off to find the X value. It certainly is a weird looking drill. Righto, so I've got my uh, part back here set up, work holding's fine, I've set the X and Y zero, I've moved over to this hole, I've got the drill chuck in and the drill bit in, 
So let's turn it on, let's see if I can get this broken tap out today. I've dropped the camera down and reposition it for you guys out there in the internet so you guys can get in here a little bit closer and look at uh, what's going on here. So let's get back into it. The drill is definitely working, but you've just got to take your time with it. Gently persuade it and just push it in. Well, there's some serious noises coming out of there. The drill bit is still okay. Um, I reckon I'm nearly down to the end of that tap. Bit more of a blowjob. I think I'm nearly through. Um, I've cleaned out quite a bit of uh, broken tap. We'll just come down nice and slowly again. And we're through. Ah, we've actually broken that as we've gone through. A bit of a bugger. Not happy with that. I've got you over on the bench here, and um, good news, I got that tap out. Bad news, sorry, Arthur, I shattered this hard drill. So I'm a little bit annoyed with myself for doing that. And as I was drilling it, as I broke through the hole, it must have caught a little piece of that tap and got jammed and broke off. So I'm a little bit annoyed with myself. But anyway, unfortunately, these things happen from time to time. Now, I was a little bit worried that the thread might have been stretched. This is my tap. And it still feels relatively good and tight in there a little a little tiny bit loose but look i think it's good enough for government work so to speak now off camera i mixed up some jb weld and uh stuck these broken pieces of fin back together and uh it actually broke in two pieces so i've glued both of those smaller pieces together then glued a, the large a piece as a whole back in here with some jb weld and i've just got the an urban clamp on here, just a little bit of pressure and I'll hold that for 24 hours and hopefully that will be enough to um, hold that in place. Alright, you probably saw there at the end of the drilling video that I had, a, I had to put a lot of pressure on the quill lever to get that drill through there. And unfortunately, as I was just about coming to the end of the breakthrough, I had the quill uh, depth stop set so I wouldn't go too far. But obviously there's a little bit of play in the quill. So as I've just had a breakthrough, of course the quill has shot down. The little bit of tap in there has caught that hard drill and broken the end of it. So unfortunately, trap for young players. I should have known better. But look, these things happen. It was my first time using it. So anyway, look, I hope you found the video uh, entertaining. And if not, you learned something from it. Um, who knows, if you've got a broken tap, maybe you can try one of those hard drills. Uh, that's if you don't have a, a little sinker EDM, you know, like the lots of tool and die shops have these because they unfortunately break taps all the time. Alrighty, look, thanks so much for joining in. I will see you again next Friday on the Aaron Engineering Channel. Bye for now.